truck driving this big 26 footer uh, just checking in. I know some of y'all probably saw, excuse me, I look all sweaty and whatnot. I've been moving furniture, helping his brother Kashalakia retrieve his stolen furniture that uh, the Bishop of Israel United in Christ stole. They had to have the police come over and surround the house. It was ugly. It was ugly. Um, he had to turn himself in. He had to go to jail. Yeah, y'all heard me correct. Well, they had to go to jail, they had arrest one, search and seizure one, and they took his stuff. And the reason, and I'm going to tell you, um, the brother tells the police he ain't coming home. He just let his wife deal with all this stuff and his children. He just let them deal with it, and he ain't coming home because he don't want to be made a public spectacle because he knew that we were there. So he said he wasn't coming home. He'll turn himself in. So he turned himself in. Uh, but that just goes to show you the the men, the mighty men, so-called mighty men, that quick to inflict judgment, quick to stand people up and embarrass them over some emotional BS, quick to do all kind of hypocrisy. But when it comes time for them to stand and take their medicine, run like a coward. Let your wife handle it. I'm telling you, that's what ends up happening. And right now, some of you that are in IUIC, y'all gonna be mad at me. Y'all gonna be mad at Masharathia. Y'all gonna be mad at Bezalel. Y'all gonna be mad at Uzziah. Mad at Yakin. Y'all gonna be mad at Shema all the people that was there. Kashalaki and his wife. Y'all gonna be mad at us like we did it. Y'all gonna be mad at us like we did it. This man stole. He lied on people. Never, never got judged for it. Nothing happened to him. Raised him back up as a bishop after he judged himself and said he wants to just step down. You know, out of love for the congregation, he'll step down after doing it. Des destroyed lives, stole thousands, hundreds of thousands, extorted, all of that. And they lift him back up as the man of God. Now his ass is in jail. And let's see if anybody at IUIC says, you know what, God is judging him. You know what, we gotta, we just gotta be real. Right. Let's see if they continue to be hypocrites and hold the damn line. And I say this to you other brothers and sisters that might be thinking about some of these camps, because it's another camp with the dude that's about to go to jail for stealing millions of dollars from the congregation. Y'all join these men, and these men be devils. You're not commanded to join no damn organization. You're commanded to keep the commandments. That's what you're commanded to do. Live your life and keep the commandments. Fellowship with like-minded brothers and sisters and keep the commandments. These men will destroy your life, and they'll have no compassion, no remorse, and no shame. No shame whatsoever. So Nas ass is locked up. I'm telling you, stuff comes full circle. And they just did a class not too long ago talking about they ain't bailing nobody out there to commit a crime. Let's see if that shit holds strong to Kanai. Bet it don't. Bet it don't. But to the rest of you butt sniffers, hold the line. Shalom.